restitution for related conduct and no proximate cause requirement. Mm -hmm. Now, a factor stakeholder stated should be considered in potentially allowing restitution for conduct that is broader than the offense of conviction. Oh, was that it could be a violation yeah. mm -hmm. of a defendant's constitutional right to due process mm -hmm. because restitution could be awarded for conduct for which the defendant's guilt was not established. Oh, <laughs> well, let's think of the arrests that I've experienced. Yeah, let's do that. Mm -hmm. Was there any due process when you probable caused my arrest on January 4th of 2016? Yes. When you refused to exonerate me of any wrongdoing, mm -hmm. knowing that I was on the bus that morning, pooch, and I was in the Port Angeles Library that afternoon. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now, um, I think that some federal judges mm -hmm, would uh, say that, well, you never established any due process. Mm -hmm. Then there's a fraudulent mental health evaluations where you said I was incompetent. Hooch. Now let's look at the arrest and the transporting me across county lines to Jefferson County mm -hmm. for the allegation of violating the restraint provisions. <laughs> I said I was not guilty. Ooch. You said I was crazy. Pooch. Now, I think that there is the availability of myself getting mandatory restitution. Yes against each and every one of the individuals uh -huh, of proximate cause. Yes. Now, let's say you're a sheriff in Jefferson County. <laughs> you're sitting at home. <laughs> you're enjoying your individual residence. Pooch. I said I'm going to sue you for it. Ouch. Now, for sheriffs and police departments right now, it could be that your knowledge, yes, of violating my due process rights when issuing disillusions of marriage uh -huh, and protection orders, Ouch. and then your refusal uh -huh, to miss prison, oh, to cover up the conceit, oh, well, excuse me, police department. Now, uh, proximate cause of all the arrests. Mm -hmm. How many of those in the Supreme Court of Washington State got an email from me? Yes. Documenting forgery, fraud, and felony. Mm -hmm. And you said that I couldn't... Well, uh, for conduct that is broader than the offense of conviction was that it could be a violation... Yes. ...of my rights as a defendant to the constitutional right to due process... Mm -hmm. Because restitution could be awarded for conduct for which the defendant's guilt was not established. Yes. Now, since I wasn't in Squim, yes, I wasn't in Britain, mm -hmm, and I didn't violate the protection order in 2012, yes, I would say that every arrest, ooh, that means that every police department, Seattle. Now, I told you that I was going to sue you for everything, yes, and then uh, I am, mm -hmm. And it could be that the Department of Justice just doesn't want to take on the whole idea of having to collect these restitutions. <laughs> but I emailed them thousands of times. <clears throat> now, it could be mm -hmm. the employees of the Department of Justice do not appreciate their individual assets. <laughs> I would say the proximate cause of all these arrests was that the Department of Justice refused to enforce the civil rights of American citizens. <laughs> Now, uh, said it could lead to increased complexity to determine the victim's losses. Mm -hmm. I'm a victim. Yes, my sons are a victim. Ooch, Marilyn's a victim. Pooch, her kids are a victim. Mm -hmm. Create challenges for federal prosecutors could result in less restitution being awarded. Mm -hmm. Now, for a potential expansion of restitution to compensate harm that was not proximately caused by the defendant... <laughs> In example, harm that was not reasonably foreseeable as a result of the offense. <laughs> Did you not see the reasonable result uh, that was foreseeable of the false arrest? <laughs> false imprisonment. Mm. The refusal to enforce the laws of the United States. <laughs> now, stakeholders said factors that should be considered included the current proximate harm requirement <laughs> does not present challenges and that such an expansion could lead to additional sentencing related hearings and litigation uh, now if you're a sheriff in any county of the state of washington i'm suing you pooch under sheriffs yes deputy sheriffs <laughs> jailers yes probation officers now restitution to restore victims mm. 
to their position had the offense not been committed. <laughs> Stakeholders said this provision is already a goal of federal restitution. It's a goal of it. <laughs> what if we help the, the Department of Justice accomplish their goals? <laughs> now, I could say that every attorney in the Department of Justice... <laughs> 